way to a stream for the day. Steve Gerard from the Myth Fly Shop has given me the honour of testing out the new Sky G, Douglas Sky G rod. It's a buy in rod, so I'll be using a 5 weight version of it because that's generally what I use in most of my fishing anyway. So, yeah, he's got a few in the shop just recently. So if you want to check out the website and get a bit more info on the rod itself and price range, um, you can check it out. But yeah, it's more of a fast action rod. It's known for its effortless casting, subtle soft presentation. So it's ideal for your small waters, spooky trout situations with rivers of flowing fairly low. Uh, yeah, it's got a fairly low swing weight. A strong blank structure, but still remains very light. So I just want to get it on the river and test it out. Uh, be a first for me. But looking at the weather ahead, it looks to be shaping up pretty good. So hopefully we can get on to a few trout and make it worthwhile. That's the plan anyway. Finally found a fish up here. And quite a walk. Been on the river a good hour. And I've just found my first fish now. Just to the left of that overhanging branch over there in front of me. But um right in the middle of the pool. Quite deep. And reasonable flow, so I'm gonna go with a nymph under an indicator. Got the caught up on the stone there. Right. A few snags in here, so I'll think about where to go if I do get a hook up. Right in the middle there. Not even be two there. Looking up ahead, there looks like there's another one there too. I'll focus on this one. Oh shit. Fish just come down here, I don't see that one. It's always annoying when there's one that just swims right down alongside you. If you spook that fish, you likely spook the one ahead of him. Let's see what he's doing. Oh, maybe I can get a cast in at that one first. Let's go for this fish then. Let's see what I get. Got him. <laughs> I didn't even realise I had him. That was weird. Didn't even see him take that. Oh. I don't know where I hooked he is, because a bit of a delayed sort of a it wasn't really a strike, he hooked himself. Not bad little fish. Bit of a bonus, it wasn't the one I was looking for. Because I've had to wait a while to get a find a fish, so I want to get this one in. Get in here. Beautiful colours on it. gill plate there a little. Finally! Jeez. Been on the river in an hour and I've only just seen my first fish. 
It does look like there's a couple in this pool, so hopefully I'll manage to keep this fish down. Nice fat little fish. Not huge, but great condition. Great neck. Let's get the nymph out of him. An angler that I spoke to um, when I turned up. He did say he came here yesterday, didn't he? So and saw bugger all. And there's a lot of boot prints on the way up too. Show you the people. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter pound. Lovely. There you go. Nice. On the board finally. Right. Let's see if we can uh, find that other fish. There was a fish just up by that branch there. And, um, and one swam down literally right next to me, so I wasn't sure whether he'd take it. And I thought I swam past him initially. And then I um, was just thinking about casting again, and next thing the line tightened, so he must have swum down and took it to the last second. I'm going to hook that fish well away from the one up here. Hopefully he's still... I think that's in there. Yep. Look at that. Might not be getting down. We're right at the bottom of that pool. I need to go give me a fly. Get down there. Let's change that. Change that nymph. Did come up slightly. I'm about the third cast, but yeah, I'm sure it's nymph is quite getting down. It's a soft hackle, even though I'm leading them by quite a bit, but it's quite deep and reasonably swift in there. Cast. Got him. Oh, slack line. Jeez. And there much room to play with there. Starting to get into those snags, wouldn't he? Big fish are they? Another one of similar size. That's alright, at least there's finally a couple. Nice. 
Beautiful little fish, not big by any means, but healthy young looking fish. Well, makes a bit of a change. It's taken me about an hour to find my first fish and just find a couple in one pool, albeit not big, but at least I'm um, finally. Uh, Giving the rod a bit of a workout. It's definitely smaller than the last one, yeah, we probably one and a half pound, but you know, sometimes the smaller guys can be just as much fun. Beautiful looking fish though. There you go. Awesome. Oh, I'll find a few more like that, I don't mind. It's been a pretty slow day in terms of fish numbers. This river usually holds a few good ones. I haven't been here for a couple of seasons, but the last time I came here was before the big flood hit two seasons ago. It certainly changed quite a bit from what I see. Since I've um, started today, I've noticed a big change in the river. As expected though. Yeah, there's a lot of good holding water and there just seems to be no fish in them. Not as much as I've seen in the past. Never mind. Still a little bit more of the stretch of this stretch left yet. I'll find another couple. Then I guess, you know. Got what I came for. Got a few casts in with this new rod so far. I quite like it. I've only cast two fish, but had a few casts on the first fish. Had to change nymph, get down a bit deeper in that, but well, that last one, sorry, but seems to be alright. Nice and light rod. Well, looks like we've got a riser in front of me here. Size so fish too, decent fish. I see a few spinners on the on the water. So I've got a wee parachute atoms I'm gonna cast at it. Thin profile, I'm gonna sit low on the water. Could be the go. active at the moment, which will increase my chance of a take. Cast. Got in. Trying to keep a tight line here, come towards me. Right, one on the reel. Oh, that's a good take. Parachute atoms worked. It's quite hard to spot them at times because of the stones and that. Seems a bit better fish than the last one. Oh, good to get one on the dry. Solid take. Good fish. Oh, hopefully, I can get this one to the net. Lovely fish. Awesome colours. Look at that. Stoked. In a slow day, a very slow day, haven't seen a lot of fish. 
but I don't know about you, but to me this is worth it. It makes up for the morning, not seeing much. Oh, that was stunning fish. I'll show you in a minute. Four and a half, four and a half pan. This kind of makes up for it, in my opinion, with colours on it. Solid fish. Beauty. There you go. Find his way to the middle of the river. Awesome. It's a bit of a relief. Find something decent. Hang on, I'm getting a bit lost there, is he? <laughs> I need one to go in there. Hang on. Come here, mate. Fish end up in that. There you go, big fella. Out in some water. Awesome. Got a bit lost. Can end up going down into pretty literally no water, so can't have that. A little bit left of the river before I turn around, but oh, it's good to get something decent. And uh, I don't know, anything on the dry is probably worth a couple of fish, in my opinion. So I've only got the three, but I've only seen probably four in total. See one prior to this pool, but fortunately seen me before I could see see the fish. So that was unfortunate. It wasn't a big fish, but it was an opportunity. So a bit disappointed there. So far, obviously I've had three casts of fish with the rod. Pretty happy with it. Certainly don't have to put much effort into the casting at all. Just flick of the wrist, really, and. The leader just rolls out nicely. So you know I'd be quite happy using using this on particularly on the smaller streams. And uh I'd say this is what it specialises in places like this that require accurate casting, soft presentation. Seems to be a pretty decent rod. So far I'm happy with it. Let's see if we can find another fish. Oh, I've just caught a fish just up from that last one. Let's put on a dry dropper rig. I thought I was recording and then I just realised I wasn't so fortunately you don't see the hook up yet. It's alright. It's another fish though, at least you get to see the fish. Not as good a condition as the last one. By a long shot. So they're definitely not as good a condition as their last fish. Obviously that was four and a half, it was only three pound, but a lot thinner. Got um nice, another fish though. Starting to grab a couple now. Oh, take them out of deep water. end up down that channel there like the, the last fish. Get him out here. There you go. Oh, there's a couple of couple of fish along this run here. Yeah I thought I had the camera recording unfortunately I didn't. Why it goes sometimes. 
good thing I realised then, otherwise you wouldn't have seen the fish at all. And that's now four on the board. Threatened to be skunked there at one stage, because I was sort of halfway up the river and hadn't seen a fish. Or well, pretty much halfway up the river. Further up I've gone, gone up the river, it seems to be getting better, but I haven't got too much more, to, much more water to cover now before I turn around. But now it was a nice cast. It's just sitting in here. Next thing I've seen a shape just move slightly. Then put a cast in, and he took the nymph straight away. Seems to be a good patch of water here. There's two fish in quite close together. Keep an eye out, there could be another one along here. Let's see if shape there just on the right, right on the edge of that pool. Get him behind him for a better look. Right, there he is. Way to pheasant tail, hopefully, get down to him. But he's right on the edge there, it's not overly deep. I'll give him a cast with this setup anyway, see if he takes a bit closer. And he drag, mate, good look at him now. Cast to his left, need to get it to the right. Drift into his lane, that one. Got him! Oh, 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 here we go. It's a good fish. Good take. Come right over to that. Getting the snags there. Doubt about it. Just give the rod a good workout. <laughs> Come over here. Got a good bit of go, this one. Jumpy fish. Goodness me. Well, this is more like it. Some of the others haven't been putting up a great fight, to be honest. Beauty, this one. He might be giving that one on the dry run for its money. Oh yeah. I can get him to the net. Oh. Nice. Beauty. Awesome colours. Similar, to, similar type of fish to the dry, the one I got on the dry. Four pound. Slightly smaller the, than the one I got on the dry, but. Brilliant colours there. Get the meat out of the way. Take a look at that. That's beauty. Lovely. Great condition. Awesome. Great fish. Nice. Oh, well, this is a bit of an epic fight. Jumped a half a dozen times. 
and uh, yeah, right, I've seen them feeding right on the edge of that pool. You can only just make them out. Greenback brown that he is. It was quite hard to pick him up at first. And then I just seen the shape slightly move, and I was like, oh yeah, There's another one. Oh, Dave's actually shaped up quite well on that. It's like, it's five. Well, two of the last three were pretty good. The last one was a little bit skinny, but at the same time, it's the worst fish I've seen. Still pretty decent. But yeah, pretty happy with that one. Well, I'm not sure if that angler yesterday seen this many fish or not, or, or what, but yeah. Depending on how far he walked up, there seems to be a reasonable number in the last sort of 100 metres or so. I'm starting to run into a few fish, but my day is just about done. I'll probably check another pool or two. I know I've said that before, but uh, I'm pretty content with what I've got so far. Like the rods definitely had its workout particularly on that fish, handled it quite well. See if we can maybe find one more. Yeah, got a bit of an audience on my way back home. Good thing about this river, I've got a walking track to, to follow. Beats walking back through the river. Saved me a bit of time. Well, it's been a reasonably productive day in the end. I just walked up to another couple more pools from previous fish that had landed. Didn't see any more and then as I started to walk up the river was getting discoloured so if you actually have a look up on the hills there you can see the dark clouds ahead there's no doubt there's a fair bit of rain up there bringing all the dirty water through the river. So a good time to leave. Uh, yeah, managed to get a few fish to the bank in the end after a slow start to the morning. Came here to try the test out the Douglas Sky G, and on summer I'm pretty happy with it. Got onto a few fish with it, even got one on the dry. Definitely effortless casting, like just the flick of the wrist, long leaders turning over nicely, and overall very light rod low swing weight that feels nice in the hand when you're casting the feedback's been pretty good with uh steve's got a few mates that's taking it out and he's pretty they're pretty happy with it so if you want to purchase one check out the website the fly shop website and get some more info on it and and he's the only guy, I believe, in New Zealand selling them at the moment. So, give one a try. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. <laughs>